at Gordjabuk. So I, that is a bit of a, a leaning factor where Pugna can always have a, a nice advantage there, being able to get secure the range creep and then also make sure you get the deny. The thing is as well though, the DB and Mamang Daya, they do switch up their lanes a little bit though. So we could even see this Morphling potentially go mid. And yeah, that is the case. So he's got, down. I think maybe one point, uh, sorry, one Null Talisman is fine for the extra Rimble. spell damage. Grims might be first blood, yeah, with a rotation for the Earth Spirit, helping out by that power rune. Uh, yeah, well, the, the pick's working incredibly well so far for army geniuses, and you see Grims is forced to come down bot, but, I mean, Ursa could be in trouble. The burst damage that's able to come out thanks to the help of the Decrypt and the Nether Blast connection, I mean that the Ursa is going to end up putting his life down here in the bottom lane. And Transition item that's going to make something happen right now. Now oh, Womi, coming through mid, Grim has got some TP rotations, are they diving a bit too far here? It's just two heroes at the moment, the rest of Army Geniuses are looking to wrap on mid as well in case a full team fight does break out. Alright, Sokka has to commit the ultimate here just to enable a disengage. They don't have control at the moment here, so the Morphling just freely able to run himself away, and this is kind of the issue of his, uh, his Morphling. That's the luxury with the Pugner as well, going for the Ace Lens build. Of course, the uh, the range is always great. Limbs probably going to die. Oh, he got the, the duel. duel with the roll away. Doesn't matter. One more right click. Nicely done. I'm like, is Van going to try and get this duel off? It was on cooldown if he could get him range. And well, that he did. But it looks like still army geniuses want to try and protect the tier 1 tower. The only issue is, is that really the Morphling's going to struggle with oh, being able to join the Pugner. engagement. But they dropped the arena. Coming down as well, Morphling's going to try and show up. They've also kill. got the Night Stalker, but James will pay the price here. So it's a one for one underneath the tier 1 tower. Morphling's going to try and deal with the tombstone. Meanwhile, Womi, he's shoving away the Shadow Demon. So they won't offer this banishment protection here. But it's just the Night Stalker at the moment. So the damage until the Void comes back up is a little bit lackluster. And you see it's going to pay the price here. So it just enables Eris to continue stacking up the poison. Yeah, how many... Poison stacks was it? The that signal could come back into the game, taking the Roshan. Let's do it ourselves. We've got double damage. We've got a lot of items for ourselves. That's the Manta completed and coming out to the Ursa already, I believe. We're gonna start James with the Link Four. When he needs to drop the arena massively inside the middle of the Roche Pit, it's still the Morphling's gonna work with the double damage. The Age is gonna get claimed now with the silence as well. Eris ends up falling. They got the jewel on top of the backline health. Van's able to deal with this Earth Spirit here, but you still gotta be careful because it looks like Army Geniuses, they want more blood. As they've dealt to split away from the rest of the team, Grims will pay the price here. It's a double for the Morphling. They're still hunting for Van, however. Wami, along with DB, chasing underneath the top tier one tower. Wami will finally pop that Dark Ascension to the latest stage of the fire, just helping out with the vision. So Pugna can dish out that little bit of magic damage that they were lacking there to find. Scout it out. I suppose it's night time, so Grims needs to get right up there. You should see it now. Yep. It's one of them. But uh, I think this one in the river should still stay alive for a little bit. You know, you're not assuming to have that kind of vision this early on. But... Ursa just stops the duel. You look at him dangle. Signal Ultra just get baited by the Ogre Magi. This dude's a professional dangler right now. Army oh, geniuses find three across the map. And you now they're going to try and think about taking the tier two. They even get the tombstone as well. So what's now a 4,000 net worth lead for Dyer? Feel really strong about their prospects right now. DB. Uh, trying to find someone else out here with the invis rune. I don't know if you could dive a tier two though. Radiant I think that might be a little bit too aggressive. Oh, well, they're gonna try. They got the ward in the back line and with the silence and I'm dying. The ultimate's, ultimate's not really gonna do much there. As long as he's not under the tier two, it's fine. And they got him in that one little pocket where it's actually safe to do so. Radiant's bottom tower. That's another tower god. That's a tier two as well. So there's the potential to take over that outpost. Really just strangle them up even more. DB, he's completely rushing this, uh, this Yule. Actually, he goes the Dagon. Wow. I don't see why not, you know? Burst damage, always going to be Dyer's fantastic. It, it means that Van has to be even more selective about when he uses that duel. Is this a little bit too over anti here from Army Geniuses? Are they pushing the tempo a bit too much? No, why not? Like, you've gone this, uh, this Battle Fury on the Ursa. He clearly needs to farm. Oh, they found and him, though. going to be able to count him out, yeah? Oh, God, a bat. I mean, Goodbye. look at what you no do. Rage. You just force the rest of Radiant back. Wami is able to find the Ursa. Free no. pickoff. And I mean, Army Geniuses, are, they're really utilizing this power spike they have at the moment. They're not even with the Battle Fury picked up on the Ursa. Like, he's still needing out of towers here. And they're even 
still Dyer's think about walking up the high ground. You gotta pop this clip. Yeah, look at that tower Radiant's get melted. And now they're, they're coming back, but Ursus right. still Dyer's doesn't have the BKB. So he's trying to farm the jungle Radiant's to get towards it, but James, he's got his. And yeah, they just get a tier 3 tower and with the Dark Ascension expiring. They're gonna back. It'll be, what, another 30 second duration. By the time it expires, you're actually gonna have real night time. So. It's uh, it's looking a little bit rough here. Oh, James they, go, they go in. Oh, he's got the BKB. Let's see if the magic damage is still coming through. It's going to be a little bit too much before Three he pops it. Yeah, we get it off now with the magic community. He drops the arena. But the Morphling's going to be careful because committed with the waveforms. So they're going to turn instantly to deal with the Morphling. The duel's out from Van and they find the kill. Showing up big there is Signal Ultra in that engagement. They want more blood as well as the bat's going to move forward. They find all three from Army Geniuses. Uh-oh. The Morphling just they mirror that as well, so they really want to walk up. So now it forces the Ogre to buy back. Still, Wami doesn't have that Dark Ascension for another 20 seconds. Signal got to be careful how long they stick around. That's ages slowly ticking down. Another 30 seconds available. Maybe they can yeah. double back if Dyer push out too far because they have this nice ward advantage. Well, they should know exactly when Dark Ascension is coming back on online because of Undying using his Flesh Golem at the same time. And uh, that's just come back off. So they know that they've got this available. Both teams spoke up. The Dyer actually were running mid. They thought Radiant were Dyer's fully going back, but they're, they're just walking off. Radiant's and now this might give an opportunity for the wraparound. You see Grim's position though, nicely placed on the Undying. They're going to be able to find him first. Let's see if they can bring him down. Tombstone's still on cooldown, unfortunately. Here. The Ghost Scepter's going to do nothing versus the magic damage, but he's got to buy back rolling once again. But inside the base... I mean, James is just dealing with Rax. The Aegis will now take out the Where's the Control coming through. Finally, they drop the arena, but just on top of the Earth Spirit, Signal Ultra will lose their extra support. About how they've been able to find the Morphling Abyssal Blades forward. How they just don't have the damage now with the lock coming out. He's got the magic immunity. Deals with the Rax, get drops the Tombstone on top of the back line of Radiant. They've used a little bit too much and haven't got enough out of it, so they need to retreat away. Leech Commander pops the cheese, but looks like James is the real target. Lim's going to be able to claim it with the buyback into the roll in. It allows the rest of Signal Ultra to retreat, but it looks like still with the Earth Spirit, he wants to catch more. That Yule Scepter locking in Van. And now Army Geniuses will be able to find an extra target here as they punish Signal from going a little bit too far. He's not in a spot to pop it at the moment, and they might actually be able to catch out Eris at the perfect timing. Wami, utilizing that intel coming through for the Dark Ascension, is going to stop James's blink as well, thanks to the Agnum's void, but now with the rolling forward, Eris is in trouble. The arena drops on two, but now the Jules going to go the just melted, no! They didn't get the attribute shift, and they blocked the roll, the Abyssal controlling up Lim. Army geniuses, a fight that doesn't break out in their favor there as the Morphling <laughs> falls through that first stun duration. Oof. No buyback too. No and they're buyback. gonna do a lot of damage on this tower. Like Van's up to hundred damage now. James has got death, so Dyer They're in trouble here. Yeah, and they got that BKB off as well, so he was taking a lot of damage. DB, he's doing his best to be able to cut the waves, but you've already got two running into your base, so good luck with that one. And look at these towers just get melted here. There's nothing they can do. You're just gonna have to let a full set go, but you gotta keep in mind, Signal, they've already breached top side, so not a lot of racks remaining, and now Ogre's even gonna end up falling. Jamesy with a nice spear pushback. And Yu doesn't have a buyback, so they're just picking off Furious left, right, and center without a, an opportunity to be able to rejoin the game. I tip my spear. They've even now got, if they were looking to try and make any sort of attempt on them as they were making their retreat, you've got the Blink and Arena of Blood back online for Jamesy, so. He's, uh, he's sitting pretty here. Man, but he has <laughs> seriously come back into this game. I mean, just being able to sell that old all but corruption, he doesn't need any more to the secret shop. So that little bit of extra gold in case it does Dyer's come to a, a buyback situation. He's a little bit closer. Dyer's top and they're even pinging our Roche. They want just the outpost control in case for uh, a buyback for a TP top. spot. And this is the third Roche as well, so it's going to be the Ag's Blessing here from Signal if they're able to do it fast enough before Army Geniuses get in range. And they've just got to do some, uh, the Legion and the Mars, but they're coming outside the base. Do, though. It wards more down to the southern side, so they're unable to really utilize the moment, but Wami is going to be able to find the Shadow Demon, instantly pops the Ghost Scepter, it's going to be protected for a little bit, but it looks like the rest of Army Geniuses, the target prioritization, they really want to try and bring down Shadow Demon, they're straight on top of it, let's see, Van's going to be able the to protect duel. him, get the duel out, where's the extra damage coming through, finally going to be able to get it with the rest of Signal coming over to help inside the river, and Army Geniuses, the rest of them cannot continue forward, they've got to go back inside the base as they lose two.
it's been the exact same story in at least three team fights. You know, the Night Stalker goes on to him, he pops the Ghost Scepter, such a value item. Like, it does not matter Dyer if you're silenced. They need the stuns attack. to layer in on top of that to be able to actually burst down this Shadow Demon. But uh, it just hasn't quite been there. They've only got Dyer's the one stun outside of the, the mini stun and the, the adaptive strike. It's that Earth Spirit. So I think maybe needing to play a little bit more together uh, was lit. A bat. He's found the poker that just instantly melted that Blink Abyssal Blade. You've got so much catch range there dropping the observe ward finding the it's division a, and um, i mean now it's mega well oh god army geniuses what can you do here you got to buy back on the pugnas going to be able to rejoin them but one still not alive for another 15 seconds they're going to try their best to kite out a bar but he's back down drops the nullify the ogre won't have any defensive factor here they're going to try and get back inside the babes arena inside the throne pretty much but are they going to dive the fountain? But he wants to as well. The protected things to the old from James. But now once it expires, they're going to be careful. But can they kick him back in? It looks like it's not required. And have they dived a little bit too far though? The rest of Raiding, they've still got four heroes. Can they protect him? They get the roll perfectly. Now with the silence as well, prevents any more follow-up. Even with the extra on top of the Legion Commander, no press the attack available. Van didn't commit the BKB. Now has to use it to try and TP out. But he will still fall. The damage from the Morphling. These attacks starting to stack up here, but you've got to go through Megas on Army Geniuses. You just got to go all mid. That's it. Simple as that. You know, maybe leave. Does anyone have boots of travel? I don't think I've saw any of them on uh, Army Geniuses' side. So yeah, maybe Pugna just farming up a little bit of gold here, unlocking his boots of speed, picking up the uh, boots of travel, and just trying to keep these waves pushed out as much as he can. I think you just needs to join the rest of his team. They need everything that they can to push out these lanes. So giving themselves a, a tiny little window for success. You know, you're saying there's a chance, and it definitely does exist. 2%. Yeah. Uh, we've seen Mega Creeps come back so far through the lower division. It was with the help of a rapier. See if the Morphling is able to get enough to pick that one up. Already has one Middle component, tower. but off they go. Attack. Radiant, not having buybacks. Van's the only one. Not that they really need to buy back. They've still got the glyph. Yeah, Radiant. there's that boots of travel on the Pugna, so he's going to be able to join the rest of his team. Radiant's middle tower. He kind of need fallen. to do it now. Well, Radiant's that's one later axe. Are under Small victories. Ops exposed Radiant's as well. So, yeah, at least they're gonna. Have a little bit of gold back in their pocket. Close, you see Wami's even saving the, the bottom wave as well. Just dump everything into the Morphle and feed him as much as they can. But Radiant, this is gold. super fast for them. Yeah. Van might be able to find it instantly. Bat's gonna jump forward. Look at the catch once again. Oh, they did it previously back. on the Ursa with the Blink and the Abyssal Blade range. It's just through the roof. And now James with the Blink in forward as well. They find just the Ogre who does have a buyback. They need this Rapier. You see the Courier standing by the secret shop, but does the Morphling have enough time to be able to pick this one up? I mean, he had his two Banter Illusions just sitting there, not actually farming or pushing out this bottom wave at all. So not only are you going to get some additional pressure coming through from the creeps, but you just were a little bit slower in picking that one up. Finally, it's going to skirt down the sides, but you're going to be without a Pugna for this team fight, which it's pretty scary. Now the Dark Ascension expires as well, so instantly a bar once again is just going to blink forward, pick off the Ogre Magi. Now that's two heroes down and die back for you. One is going to try and move in, but just look at the damage. Go. Can stand his everyone. ground. Where's the Morphling? But on the back, man! Yeah. The blink, dual rapier drop, the that's it. The cheese signal ultra. Keep in mind, they came back incredibly well in this game one here. Radiance victory. What was it sitting at? Like an 80? 5% win rate, maybe 80 or so, that yeah. uh, it was at around 20 minutes into the game, and that's all it takes is that one bad team fight, just not quite going your way, and uh, yeah, punishing accordingly, I mean... Uh, and I recall Dazzle position one, we get to see James on uh, an Ember Spirit here, which is always exciting to see, and we're heading into this second game with the draft or set, is there, uh, is there a team you'd favour? Can Army Geniuses pull this back into a game three, or... Do you think the uh, series is going to end up ending here? I think they definitely can. Like, that, we saw they had complete control over that game number one. It was just a couple of poorly taken team fights and uh, some great itemization and uh, skill. Once they, you, know, you and DB want to start pushing the tempo, is this... Uh, what's the timing really actually down bot, though? Is Arakanex here thanks to Wami's Boris Strike? Are they going to be able to pick up first blood? So... 
uh, but had a, a pretty rough laning stage top of the last hits as well how do you think the troll needs to itemize this game is it just the the ags once again that we've been seeing or, or can he go for something like a battle fury uh, well, Mac? speaking of them, there's a bit of action happening in the mid lane. Are they just both gonna die? No. <laughs> the evasion. <laughs> the evasion. Really effective. The threat of that flame guard, but obviously it's uh, doing him an amazing amount of good. The arrow, it again connects onto a bot, but he's under the safety of his tower, so he's gonna be just fine. You want pop as well falling over. It's a double town bot, alright. A bot and Grimms. Very nicely done. Find the uh, two aggressive plays here from Army Joe. We see how fast he's able to get the items to, to help out through the the brawl that's going to start to occur throughout the early game but bot back in they go one is in trouble just gets the borrow strike but even then though the damage that can continue chasing Lim does at least get a return kill with the arrow on the mark once again so a killing spree beat off as well but the river fight might break out here as the echo song sets up now for the arrow and now instantly with a relic kick can they bring down the ember throughout the stun duration they can do so successfully now they'll turn their attention to Eris chasing up the high gun. They go one after another. DB claims it with the clap there. And well, Army Genius is now having the, the numbers around mid. Should be able to take this tier one tower. Radiant do have Glyph. Radiant structures. A pop it, but we're yet to see the Fury on with the rotation just yet. Is this Radiant's maybe Signal aren't playing as attack. fast as you were expecting? I think maybe they're just waiting for the uh, the maelstrom to be completed up by a bot. I say kill. that as he makes his TP through to the mid lane. He's got the one value point in the shadow grave. You and I. Gotta be careful how deep they continue diving here as well. Troll gets a battle trance off, but now with the board of kisses in the back line, they don't have a way to be able to cancel that. But look at the damage troll coming out. As long as Troll has that ultimate, he's gonna be able to continue moving on forward. DB flying in as well, but the tether help with the regen's not enough. Troll will drop, but they've still been able to find three kills here, and they're hunting for more. Can the arrow be on point? It's not. But sidesteps it. James is still in the river. A couple of remnants to be able to utilize. Got to be careful because it's only one. And now the Echo Stomp actually sets up for now the Burrow. Waiting for as long as possible so the rest of the team can burst him down. And they do so successfully. So Jay pushing him bot with the catapults. This should be able to at least force them to come down here. And even with the relocate, I is going to be able to. But do they have the damage to actually go through at the moment? Got to be careful. Troll's going to oh, TP him. But no. the damage is in trouble. And the Orchid's going to tick him out. Gonna try and get a return kill, Troll. Not getting any roots at the moment. Now some extra reinforcements coming out, but it looks like they're just gonna try and stand his ground. A man fight. Brave from above. Nice van as well. Utilized at the Sprout there. Is able to at least give him some space for Dazzle with the Battle Trance of the last second. Van's Orchid's a little bit too late with the downtime, and he's also gonna end up paying the price as well. His army geniuses. Got a couple of seconds left of that Vendetta. Trying to get the kill happening, but where's the rest of the team? I'm not seeing it. James, he runs away from the neutral camp though, so they're going to be able to find the Searing Chains connection. But Dara coming over now with a blink from one. He's still alive. He's still up. Finally, the slap from James is able to claim it, but he'll pay the price there as army geniuses lose the troll. But once again, they punish Signal Ultra. Just time and time again, we're seeing Dyer come head in the trade. You need to get at least one pick off beforehand. And they're going to see those balls flying around. So DB, he spotted out. Oh, nice he done the chains. The, the luck coming through there now sets up for the board McKisses. Even Troll is keeping in, but it looks like Gaia. They want to try and answer the question here, but well, the team fight breaking up. But the FB drop, they're going to be able to bring down the Ember. The arrow from downtown from Lim once again. The arch is on the mark. Even Furion's going to get caught off to the northern side of the fight here. So army geniuses will kick back, finding two heroes from Signal Ultra. But they want more blood as well, as Troll's move incredibly fast, especially with that extra movement speed coming through from the neutralizer with the bull whip. They're going to walk up the higher gun, even dropping the Earth Spitter. Bat is he going to find the connection? No, won't get dragged back. Nick just trying to be that body dog. They even find him and still continuing on for more. Unfortunately, the Dazzle just wasn't able to retreat away with the sacrificial lamb from the Nyx assassin. Oh, just hover over, like, click on the Dazzle. Well, can be really good if they uh, were opting to go for any kind of, you know, evasion plays on, uh, on signal side. That's okay, on the just front line. They're going to try and deal with the supports first. The ET stops a lot of the damage here, and they're going to be able to bring him down the instant buyback with the counter initiation. They're on top of the back line. Troll's doing a very good job of forcing the Dazzle out of the fight. Meanwhile, with the rest of the calls from Signal, Ultra Van's going to pay the price here. James is able to deal with Lim, but he's in trouble with the Barrow Track on the mark after the BKB. Finally, we see the Gobble Up used, but it's to no avail. A Signal. Now it just hasn't been able to kind of come together as a team. and army geniuses it's all coming together for them as they're up the high ground troll's got the ages 3800 hp pool 
You even got an eye with 3600 HP pool with the cheese as well. And well, Van's gonna have to come back. They need to offer some defense. The tier three already down. The barracks are soon to fall as well. He's gone for that MKB, but yeah, just a little bit short of it. It's kind of a similar situation to the we go. fight last one game. Kiss, but instantly, Wom is going to be able to cancel that one. He has committed now inside the tree line, but he's still got the force to reposition. They're going to continue to move on for Lotus Orb up on the troll wall. They just can't do anything. Look how aggressive they're able to play, trying to dive even deeper with the buyback coming through. Eris is going to force them back at least, but Wom can still counter up if they push far. He's positioning out on the western tree line. It's a nice spot to find the jump. Two full sets of racks advantage now for Army Genius as they're trying to link down to the bottom side. MKB, this feels like it's do or die right now. Is this MKB oh. damage enough from Van? They need to try something. Go up. up. Maybe pop on me. No perfect timing as well. They find the Dazzle on the Nyx. Tyson instantly brought down. Jamesy pops a BKB, but we just haven't seen the Dazzle do anything. Instantly a bat drops a G's as soon as he falls into the disconnect. Dazzle is not happy with how this game two went. An army genius is hit back. Oh, that's, that's the classic C combo. The GG into the DC. It is, uh, you know, a tale as old as time. And... This time around, Army G uses, they, they realize the strengths. They were like, okay, we've had a fantastic early game again. But this time around, we're just going to play it a little smarter. You know, take our team fights in areas that suit us, have our vision a little bit stronger. We're going to itemize around the, uh, the items that Signal have. And they were just really great at being able to kite out those BKBs. You know, they were like, sure, if we give up Wamir. I feel like Army Geniuses, if they can get the lane set up correctly, then it's going to further help out with how they can head into it. I'm a bit worried that signal, though, throughout the, the early to mid game, that their damage, you know, can Lim have another super, super dominant performance on the Marana? Like, it was... I don't think it's going to be as easy of a game for Lim, though, because you don't have no this guarantee. Yeah, like, it's... And it's also nice when you see teams can thrive when you have these kind of cheese picks where you're constantly in all three of these games. They've had to ban out the Meepo. They've had to ban out the Huskar. Dump off, though, back. Getting pretty aggressive. That's now got the Jingu stacks, but Wami still trying to have to juke and drive attack. throughout the tree line with the balance. It's an immense amount of damage, and that will be able to find first blood. So a much different laning stage here for Signal Ultra's position one. Yeah, I mean, ability. Dips in forward, but again, I mean, Echo Stomp to set up for an arrow, it, it's not going to be the greatest, but they do even have the relocate, Eris, to see if you can disrupt this nice and pale on the two, and our Radiant, they want to come over for bat, if he can drop the Wukong speed, others haven't leveled at the moment, they're going to tr try and find the jewel, the bound, the strife, no victory at the moment, Eris making a lot of space, but it looks like a bat wants to go back in, it's a one for one, you never that's going to be all she wrote, board. it looks like, so he doesn't, but Eris is... Vendetta's on cooldown anyway. Can they get it? They do. He, he the wasn't TV. on the top of the stairs. Hey, Watch, they won't like... get the victory, but at least it's a, a kill nonetheless. And yeah, just a minor misplacement, I guess, in the TP. If it was a little bit higher, then maybe he would have made it out. Simultaneous jump in the river, though. He's making a lot of space. Snapfire falls. Bats trying to find DB as well. James with counter up. Nice bail on the strike. Holds in limb. They won't be able to close the distance on the Marana. So look at the space. Space created. Eris. Oh, there's the odds. So Signal lose too, but they get the kill on the Io, which was the first death of the game here. Hashtag worth. Hashtag worth. And now they're going to be able to put some pressure on the T1 tower. Aghanim's now completed Sanjin Yasha, so there's going to be a nice little timing here from uh, from Signal Ultra. Let's see if they can really utilize it, though. Back, leading the front line, bound the strike. Not enough setup. They're actually moving oh, forward. No. It's the arrow. The balance is enough. Some lockdown, it's not. So Void will pay the price. The Doesn't actual the step Pulsar. into the arrow. You hate to see it. At least they get the tier one, but are they another really quick play like we saw previously from Army Geniuses in that uh, previous game here? Going in Roche really early. It's not with the DD. But still with the arrow. Could be enough. They're gonna try and chuck up the Mortimer kisses. Army Geniuses don't have the greatest way. To be able to counter that on the back line, but without the stun to really set up, you see the kiss isn't doing a lot of damage, and just Eris gets melted. Oh, that's gonna be careful as well. It's a beautiful bound the strike on the higher ground. He doesn't have the Wu Kong, so so they can't reposition and force army geniuses away. Signal find one, continue to They're control the high ground. They're buying time for James. They realize how strong he is with this Ag Scepter right now, and you know, they're not gonna be able to finish up the Roche. 
Gotta be careful with this smoke. Are, scanning. are they forcing it a bit too much here? Yeah. Okay. Perhaps. Well, what's the actual vision situation like? They, oh, they try to find out the... Uh... Oh, he's gone again. Back in, actually. Now, perfect timing of bat. Look at this choke point with the Rukon's man. They get the lasso as well. They're going to try and bring down DB, but a quick press the attack. DB is going to be able to keep his lap, but he's already used to tether. Won't be able to create some distance away from Signal Ultra. As they're pushing the pace, they want a little bit more here for... They they found out, the Ayo, though. Once again, and James is in. Stunlock comes from a bat. They're going to try and chuck up the Earth Splitter. Somewhat an ambitious attempt to try and protect the Ayo, but now Eris with Carapace locks in you. Allows the Mortimer Kiss to go to work, but oh, they they're going to find the dual victory, and they just do so much damage. That E-Blade freshly picked up from the Morphling. And the Mang Dyer is going to be able to bring him down. It's a two for one. They're still hunting, though, but lacking a little bit of catch at the moment here from Army Geniuses. Oh, they're trying to go for the follow-up here onto the Void Spirit. Ooh. Maybe just a, a little lack of communication. That was a really clever play by the Morphling, just morphing into the Nyx on Mirana, too. So finally, finally. something to be able to disrupt these team fights. Or even just initiate. This is a uh, Firefly being used though by the Batrider. If they're able to continue running away as they do as a team, they're like, get out of here. They know exactly where they are though. Uh -oh. But Firefly will be coming towards the end of its duration and they will have seen. Oh, nice stun initiation. Instant BKB pop BKB. from DB. But now with the Wukong's command, they're kiting outside the AoE. Instantly, James is going to jump as well on top of the Elder Time. They're able to bring him down. Mirana's in trouble. Has to get the leap away, but they don't want to try and find the position for. They want more important kills here. It's like Radiant, though, they're in the retreat. Morphling wanting to try and find a pick off as the rest of Signal Ultra are disengaging, but they found the Nyx, so there's that setup. Perfect. Gets the Carapace, gonna kind of delay them for oh. a little while, and now with the duel coming out as well, but a nice stop from Eris. Who? There's no follow up at the moment. Morphling gonna try and get it at the last second, they find the last of Where's the extra damage coming through? They're gonna be able to man fight out back. Has the Jingu Sax now, they turn once again. Eris to play on the Nyx Assassin is on point, but they're done. The buyback is going He actually tries to rejoin them here, but a bat's hunting has got the Jingu. Boundless, Boundless is about to be back up. And now with the stun locked him in, it allows Signal to close the distance. A die back for you, a triple for a bat, and that's a five man wipe. Man, Eris in the nick of time. That spike carapace stopping the Morphling from being able to burst him down. He then gets the impale, so it stops the Morph from being able to burst through that jewel. And then from there, they just turn it on them. And again, it's another one of these situations where. You go these items and they're just not useful for anything. Like, uh, I don't think your scepter was used at all in that team fight because Lim is playing so scared. You know, they're they're playing from behind. You've got so many dangers that you need to be able to try and deal with, and uh, you know, you're always going to be in a vulnerable position to be picked off with your uh, your lasso there. Perfect use by that for man. Like, uh, a horrible laning stage it has to be said, but he's definitely turned it around with a lot of his initiations. That's not what I was speaking about, where they smoked off, still were able to get to the higher ground. They found it back up, the monkey with the BKB and Wukongs, and Dyer not really as reliant. Try and smoke to their observed ward. There we go. Oh, a bat so close. BKB pop. They get the jewel. Where's the damage coming through? Morphling instantly on top of the Aether Ramp. No, once again. With the last they're going to try to bat. They drag him away. But where's the extra save return with the Vis Now with the BKB's back up. Three down. Army geniuses. They attempted it. But it just doesn't work in their favor. Van the Shard. Oh my lord, look at the counter, usually the Legion, usually it counters the Batrider, but it's the other way this game, Van's itemization, and now three of them don't have buyback. Beautiful Dota coming through from Van, and the beauty of using that in the saving manner is, they won the team fight, and they've got another lasso, because it only has a 20 second cooldown when you use it to save a mate. And they're just going to use that with the Siege Creep to start assaulting the base. Perhaps a little bit premature with the usage of that glyph because the entire creep wave is going to be able to survive now. Dyer's Looks like it's Zedarax down bot exposed Dyer's here. Army Geniuses morphling back up in 20. See, it's a lot Dyer's of single target damage though. They're unable to burst one hero down, then the follow up afterwards is lackluster. I just don't think I've seen the the E blade used. I don't think I've seen the maximum usage out of the um, the Ag scepter. So like, how much? Got you? All right, you're just not going to do anything. We'll keep pushing forward, and it's only going to get worse because level 25 is about to be reached by the Monkey King. Nice by Carapus. 
The Rogue, they're actually getting the burn damage, but now Monkey King's gonna get something up with the force off forward. They need the jewel, they're gonna be able to find it. Where's the extra protection coming through the lasso? He's just gonna turn it back, just mounts him down, but he's still in trouble. Finds the Abyssal Blade, and now with the Morphling, he's stunned up through the lasso. They're gonna be able to secure the kill, no buyback available. Now they'll look to turn for the iron. DB's in trouble, he's got the tether, but where's the target? The iron's just getting chunked. James is directly on top of him. Yours controls him up, sets up for the remnant, and another fight is one for Signal Ultra. What is going on? Oh, and Rosha just respawns as well. They get everything going their way. This time around, th th that's the great thing with the uh, the Batrider going into this Axe Shard build. You can still use it offensively. He just wanted to keep the Marana away, make sure they had no stuns, make sure they had no disruption with that Yule Scepter. And that was enough to be able to quickly burst down the entire team. Sheesh. There's now ages on the monkey level 25 he's got that additional wukong's command ring but there's the no way you can contest this when they're pushing towers now you just toss it down maybe getting a little bit aggressive here but really where's the damage arrow maybe even then just three deaths away and he's even got his uh his boys his soldiers hitting the tower as well there it is Making sure there's no opportunity. We've seen some Monkey Kings not using the Wukongs to be able to take objectives and it's cost them in games. Nyx once again just eating the arrow. Some duration here. Morphling up alive. I about to respawn as well. Oh, yeah. gonna try and deal this with the is first just the though. Again, like the T. So you're constantly. If you try and replicate someone else and it's like, why'd you buy the eggs? And. You just need that setup right now, and they don't have it. I'm starting onto the yeah. Nyx Assassin. Are they going to fully commit for it? He doesn't want to drop the E Blade. So Eris just keeps his life there. Okay. All right. That taking a lot of damage. Surely the ballers are able to claim it. It is. Okay. That will pay the price. Let's see how they set up. Uh, split an arrow combined. Nicely right. stunned. And up with the drop. Right. Oh, that's a lot of damage here. Army Genius are they able to do it with the blaster once again? About, he holds his life now. Turns with the Abyssal Blade to balance strike. But they are able to bring Kim down. Finally, Army Geniuses. They catch a break. But the instant buyback. Monkey King wants to rejoin the Morphling's falling low. But he's got the Ashford Shift now with the silence. He's got the Manta now. Needs to wait for him away. Or does he want to go aggressively? The Relocate keeps his life. Buyback galore coming through. The one opportunity that they have on Dire once again. The the same again. drags back a bat. He's got the Wukong with the Morphling. He actually went aggressively. He's got to be careful. DB drags it back with the Relocate, but the Balance Strike locks him in place. Now with the match coming through as well. He's in trouble. Morphling fully strength. Morph up. He's not going to be able to get any more health coming through. Eris Impale available, but to get the arrow now. Iron might pay the price, and he does, but he's got to buy back a Morphling. He actually runs back in here. Got to be careful. How antsy do you get here? Army geniuses. Your last racks now exposed here. Glyph is Papa Jamesy. Wants to keep the pressure on. Yes. Nice arrow, but it doesn't oh, matter. James, James is again, going so deep. It's only the two cores available here, but Army Geniuses, they need some form of hope, but it might just not be there. Ayo is the heal enough. The Sands prevents anything. Eris is falling low. At least they get the waveform away now with the BKB, so they're back in the base. They do not have a glyph. No buybacks. I mean, you're about to have your Legion up in 20 seconds, but now once again, they're going to jump in forward. Maybe they can burst on the Void Spurve now with the Abyssal Blade before the Archibald Shift DP. And then they get time, are they doing it? Actually, look at him go! 3-4, they've got to be careful because the bat, he pulled back as well. He'll get the Tree Dance away. So Reload. Army Geniuses, they're relocating, but it's just DP! It's on him, what?! The no higher. What are you doing? You had an opportunity, and now Morphling as well, he's pushed outside the base! Legion's back alive, potentially, can they get the jewel victory coming through? Warming is in, finds a jewel on top of the Monkey King, but Monkey is like, okay, I can man fight here! Give me the Jinker sacks, look at me turn as well, the balance gonna come up in a couple seconds, but up with the burst! The illusion! No, Army Geniuses, they call it! Signal oh. Ultra will remain undefeated here in the lower division. Very nicely done. Dyer's Don't know if I like the uh, the chat wheel coming from uh, Abat there, you know, considering he was the one that they were doing all these pauses for. But, uh, you know, they, they certainly have a lot to feel proud of. Uh, you might want to rein in a bit of the cockiness, though. I, I feel like Army Geniuses, they played with a lot of